Well, guess what? We exposed the defamer on camera. The danger of defamation, weird title, right? <laughs> but just imagine that one of your old friends, or even a random stranger falsely exposed you as some <laughs> file or a groomer and people believe in it. And it's becoming more and more common and it's just a very dangerous thing on the internet. And that's what happened to one guy I'd like to feature in this special non Dissium video. Crafter is a friend of mine and an influencer who run multiple channels and accounts and a lot of people including me within the RTC recognizes at least one of his tweets. So on Twitter an account randomly appeared which is an alt of someone used for the purpose of exposing him. And believe me, what you're about to see is actually really stupid and dangerous. Exposing Crafter, a threat, grooming, pedophilia, manipulation, transphobia, homophobia, racism, doxing, and more. Man, do I really have to summarize the whole thing? Alright then. The person says that they were 13 and dated Crafter when they were 15 turning 16. The person claims that they were groomed into sending photos of themselves. Okay, boohoo up DMs apparently about him acting really inappropriately and all the shit I'm showing later. Ugh, grooming again with convincing DMs as it seems at the first sight. Transphobia, okay. An old document from April that was recently debunked and taken accountability for. And tons of other screenshots. And guess what? All of this is really well done and that's a fact. Except for the fact that none of these are facts. The way the person made it up is really good, but I would say that this is one of the biggest defamatory actions I've seen in the RTC, but also the dumbest. Crafter did a really great job at easily debunking it, but the reason I'm making this video is because there's one thing that really triggered me to make a video about this. And that is how easy it is to fake DMs these days. Now, let's start with the funniest part of this video, you don't want to miss this. Take a look at this, a claim about grooming and saying very weird stuff in extremely inappropriate chats? Or is he? DMs may look real and convincing, but even if they are, there is already evidence that this is edited. Take a look at this screenshot. Looking at it, we see that it was sent at 3.10pm. Now we're clicking on the next picture. <gasps> Whoa! It's a time traveler. It was 3.10pm and now it's exactly 11pm. Time zones maybe? Well, no. Where's the 10? Poof! Gone. Hmm, okay. Now look at this, the account provides an old exposing document that was debunked by Crafter a while ago. Who is the publisher of the document? Star fixed. Alright, so, what do we have so far? The same DMs in two separate screenshots have two different times, 3.10pm and 11pm, and the account promotes a document from Starfixed. Crafter told me that the first person who followed the account is actually Starfixed, so I decided to troll around and DM the account. I said the following, Yo, can I add you on Discord? I've been friends with Crafter for a few months now and he admitted to some very weird stuff I'd like to share. I made a fake folder and said, let me know if you want it. And voila! And you reply. Now we have the Discord tag and when looking it up, what do you see? The Discord profile has a Twitter of Starfixed, proving that they're the creator of the account caught on camera. But why do we need it, you may ask? Simple, the exposing account talks about themselves. So I asked Crafter to make a video of one of their DMs. November 18. Those are fake DMs. And here you see that they never spoke that day. November 23. Those are fake DMs. And those are real DMs. November 27. Those are fake DMs. And those are real DMs. December 17. Those are fake DMs. And the real DM history. No chat messages were sent whatsoever during that day. But now a good question you will definitely ask. Couldn't Crafter just delete his messages to hide evidence? Alright, so that's a good question, but in that case, why the fuck would this person delete them as well? Looking at the chat history, messages with an aggressive or unpleasant tone were never sent. Yeah, I know, some of them are really cringe, but my point is that the DM comparison proves enough. But why do we see B instead of Melly? Here are two possible explanations. This person used two alts and one disguised as Crafter, and another account with his letter B. Or this person changed temporarily the pro profile picture and name into that and edited Crafter's messages. It's pretty obvious that Crafter and this person always talked on the main account as I have shown in the videos proving it and the main account is linked to Starfixed on Twitter who is the creator of the exposing account. And I also asked Crafter to show his DM list and there's literally no one with the username B. And now look at how easy it is to replicate his account design.
or we switch to plan B and let's edit some messages. Let's begin with the messages and then we edit the time. Once you learn using inspect element, that's how easy it is. You can pretty much fake anything and even fake profiles to make sure it looks real. And that, my friends, is the danger of defamation. I will be linking everything in the description and thank you for watching. In case this video gets demonetized, please subscribe instead to support me. <laughs>